Okay, I'm Sovereign Sage, and I'm gonna try to get this focus, but I feel like it's all over the damn place. So, I've been stressed out with this, mainly because Ren has four endings, and I'm actually trying to achieve those endings with him, but because I've had to play through this final drop at least five times, I've already played through it five times, and it takes two hours to do it every time, um, to get the endings and achieve them. I've been stressed out with it, um, because it's just, it's so time consuming. It's really ridiculous to try to 100% everything in this game due to this ending chapter, having to replay through it that many times. Um, I find that to be abysmal. Um, if anything, I'm trying to get the camera focused here. It's the bottom of my TV keeps getting shown. You can tell if it's the bottom of my TV if you see a little Zelda amiibo poking out the bottom. <laughs> She's like, hello. Um, Twilight Princess thing. Okay, so I've already pretty much gotten every ending for uh, Ren up to this point. However, I'm going to try to upload all of each of the characters' endings individual where I talk over, say how to get it, and then I show how to get it. Um, so far, I've already got a video for the good ending for Miyu, the good ending for Yuri, the third ending for Ren for um, Osei, which is the good ending. Like I said, there, Ren has four endings. There's a good ending for Shirogiku, a good ending for Osei, a bad ending for Shirogiku, and a bad ending for Osei. So I've already showed, um, in my normal playthrough, I showed me getting the other endings for Shirogiku. But I don't actually have them split out in individual videos, which I have to try to find out how to do on my own here in a, in a bit. Um, because it saves as soon as you come into this room, I'm thinking it might be easier for me if I just load up the save file, but I would have to replay through the ending at least this bit multiple times just to try to put these endings into their own individual videos. So that I don't waste any more time, we're going to try to go for the bad ending for Osei, as I already have the previous three endings for Ren. This is the last one that I need. And to achieve the bad ending for Osei, for Ren, when she starts to walk towards you, instead of glancing her, which would give you the love after death uh, ending, which is the good ending. So instead of glancing her, you want to take a picture of her immediately, and that'll put you down the path of... I guess, I, I call it a bad ending because nothing really happens. You'll see. So we're going to pick the bride and then we'll go in. And I won't talk for this bit, but like I said, when she starts coming up to you, um, you're going to just want to take a picture of her. Also, if I can turn him towards me. This is that Kunihiko outfit I was talking about. Um, so he's basically dressed like Kunihiko also. Um, it's neat, except for it's hard to kind of get him to turn around to face me. There we go. Oh boy. I don't know why it is he's so attractive to me. It's probably because he kind of looks like Shishu. Weird. Uh, anyway. It cost me a 
a great deal of suffering. Even so, I was still happy. I shall return to the darkness. But before I go, photograph me. Save a part of me before I'm sealed away forever. You have some good feet. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so that's basically the I don't know if you can call that a bad ending. Battery on my gamepad is uh, freaking out. It's glowing red and I didn't notice that it was. I'm trying to... Um... God. Okay. Let me actually grab my cord to plug that in. So, because of the way the game is set up, the other two endings for Ren, the sheer Giku ones, I thought that I would be able to try to safe state the game in such a way that I would be able to load back from that point to be able to show me getting those other two endings. Unfortunately, what I can do is just upload the endings, like the cutscenes, to the other two endings because in order to achieve them from start to finish, I would have to play all the way through the final chapter again. And it takes a while. You actually have to start as Yuri, then you go to Ren, then I think you go to Yuri again, and then, um, like it's Yuri, Ren, Yuri, Ren, Miu, um, Ren again. So. It, it, it like, you have to play through all three of the characters. It's a very long chapter. It takes a very long time to get to this point. Um, and I would have to do that two more additional times. And I actually already showed me getting the other two endings because I did already play through this. This is the fifth time I played through this final chapter, the last drop. Um, so if you want to see the other two endings, they are, I believe, I have them in part... 37 and in part 39 um, those are the other two parts that have the other two endings for Shirogiku. Um the other ending that has the other Osei ending in it I believe was in my last part for part 40 actually no I think it was 39 or actually it might have been 38 like I said it's been confusing me as well um, because Ren has four endings as were me and Yuri only have two so those are all of the endings um, that I can possibly show because I am, I am done with the game. I already completed it. Um, I'm just trying to get like ending cutscenes cut out by themselves for people who are, care about that. I don't even know why I care about it, but it was just something that I wanted to do. Um, so that is the fourth ending uh, for Ren, ending four. Um, that's the other ending for Ose. That one's sad. But I think the other good one before the love after death, I think that ending was also sad. Um, I might do a video of me showing off all of the final ending cutscenes in one whole long video. Um, but the, what sucks about it though is the ending cutscenes, it doesn't really fully show the entire ending. It only shows just the cutscene bits. 
So like the part of him standing in the room afterwards, if you watch the cutscene back, that part gets cut out. So I feel like parts of the ending get cut. It only truly shows cutscene only. It doesn't show the other little mini cutscenes that happen after the main cutscene. Like the one for Shir Giku in, in a, into a box, the good ending, she pushes him out of the shrine. But if you rewatch the cutscene back under the cutscene menu, it doesn't actually show that. It doesn't show, um, it just doesn't show her pushing him out and him landing in front of the shrine. It doesn't show it. It gets cut out. So that's why I said it, it doesn't really fully show the true ending by going back and rewatching cutscenes. It just, it doesn't for me. So I ain't going to be able to show the other endings because they're in my other story playthrough. Um, they, I believe they're, they are in parts, what did I say, 30, 39 and 37 something like that so if you want to see the other endings the the sheer giku endings they are in part 37 and in 39 um part 39 i believe was the good ending for sheer giku um into a box or in the reliquary so part 39 has the good ending for sheer giku part 37 has the bad ending for sheer giku which is called cherry blossoms I also have Miu's good ending in that video, uh, Waking Up to Dreams. And then I have her bad ending in 39. So I've been trying to split up the character endings, and part 38 has Yuri's bad ending, and part 40 has the good ending, which is where I, I ended the story playthrough. Like, my main playthrough ends on part 40. Um, every other video after part 40 is just me showing endings, which is what this video is. So, that's the other ending for Osei. Um, so I guess, thanks for watching if you did. I'm Sovereign Sage. Now we gotta get Miu's bad ending in an individual video. And I probably won't even talk for that one. That, that one is mostly strictly going to be cutscene only. Also, I tried to get this to fit and it's still cutting off the screen I noticed. I must be zoomed in too much. Fantastic.